you've seen my video from the Crown Vic. All the Crown Vics I've had, I was lucky enough that to remove this piece, and there's basically a pin that goes in there that activates it, and they remove the pin. So I was able to basically just put a screw or a bolt in where the pin would go and make it work. Uh, some of you have commented that your car had much more radical problem like they removed the bars that attach so you had to go to the junkyard or whatever so I apologize to those of you that had a you know a more serious problem there they didn't need to do that to your car and there's a child lock thing there uh, either setting doesn't change anything on my car so I'm sure there's been surgery done inside the doors to remove the door panel and this seems to be true for the front or the back doors you just need basically a Phillips screwdriver a thin prying tool such as a flat bladed screwdriver that's very small and something to pop up the uh, little popper of it thingies this is the proper tool anything similar to that will work process is pry open that cap and remove the Phillips screw behind there pry open that cap and remove the Phillips screw that's behind there and then there are various number of Phillips screws depending if it's the front or the back door running along the bottom and then there are these little pop rivet things and again depending on front or rear door it depend on how many you have and how many you need to remove um, you want to check because you don't have to remove all of them for example on this door you notice this piece here is separate from this piece so I probably don't have to remove that one this is probably holding on this upper trim piece here not the door skin so if you've seen my other video where I was trying to remove the rear door I spent forever trying to figure out how to get these out I kept trying to pry them up with my pry tool had no idea that the center pushes in I've never seen one that pushes it always pulls so you push that in and it releases so the front has more of those retaining clips than the back did So this is the piece that's missing from the back the doors or the, I need to be able to open the doors. And I don't know if you could see me removing that on camera, but basically that just slides down into this hole here and then the, that secured it. And then the electrical connector is just a typical press and pull. So now that I have this off, I can clean it, and then we can figure out what wires are going to be required to do the door unlock. A little handy tip, I just clean the heads of the screws off with some TSP and then hit them with a little gloss black paint, makes them look brand new. Alright, your handy dad is a happy camper right now, I've been jacking with this for a while <laughs> and I've got it where the door will open from the inside by pulling on this so all I gotta do now is attach this to the uh, door handle but because this was really not a user-friendly repair to where I could really get in here and 
show you how it's working. I'm going to kind of have to explain it. So these bolts here, they're Torx bolts. Remove those three. That makes this kind of loose enough that you can wiggle it around a little bit. And then I pulled off, there's a rubber cap here. And it kind of, then obviously needed light since it's dark, of course. Uh, so I put light in there. But looking through this hole here, when I'd wiggled this piece inside over here, there was a red plastic piece. That is the rod attachment spot. Well, I don't have a rod. Well, that sounds silly. <laughs> I don't have the door rod piece, and I can't find one. I'm sure somewhere out there, there there's a junkyard that has one, but I'm not patient like that. And the other thing is, the whole point of these videos is to show you how to fix things cheaply. So it's just... like that so that red piece that you see there that when I push that is the thing you need to attach something to all right after I shot the last video I decided halfway through that instead of doing zip ties which I didn't think were gonna last very long I actually took a solid I think this is a 12 maybe a 14 gauge wire but uh, it's an electrical wire uh, like a, you'd use inside your house, so it's not quite a metal rod, but it's you know, going to last longer than zip ties. So I attached it on that end the way it's supposed to, so it's wrapped through there. But I wanted to show you, if you're trying to do this yourself, it takes about 9 inches from the gap here to the bend that's the right length where it'll open the door if it's shorter than nine inches it'll the door will stay open and obviously longer than nine inches and the handle won't do anything and I decided I want to try to make the locks work from the inside so what I did this is a metal coat hanger and I'm gonna to try to fish this through there and then bend it to where this will come out here and then, I know this is probably too long, but I, I'd rather it be too long than not long enough for right now because I've bought the little lock knobs and once those come in, I'll cut this to the right height. There's a white plastic tab here that goes up and down to unlock lock. I'm gonna fish that around there and secure it so that then you can push and pull. I have it attached here. I would categorize it as more of an emergency rather than as something that you'd want to use every time. Because I, I mean, there's, without totally removing the lock out of the car and attaching this, there's not really a good way to attach it. It doesn't look like they have these set up to have this lock attached because they have the lock up front. And uh, so this is just basically twisted around that attachment there. So I think if you jam on this enough times, it's gonna pop off. But like I said, to have some sort of emergency if you're a backseat passenger and need to unlock, this will unlock it. I wanted to give you a view from inside. I don't know how well you can see it because I'm holding the camera outside of the car. But on the driver's side, it's a green plastic tab. And on the passenger side, it's red. But you see how I've fed it through there so it's in the correct position. So now I'm starting to feel like a pro putting this on and off. Uh, the first video I filmed it was kind of a joke. I was struggling so much trying to figure out how to work the little plastic tabs and stuff. And like I said, I'd never seen one that 
pushed in to release. I wanted to show you. That's how I got the door. Like I said, it's about a 12 gauge house electrical wire. But what's nice is they're sturdy enough to do the job and flexible enough that you can bend them into place, but they typically stay in place. I, I'm going to twist that bottom piece up and lock it into place, but I can't do that holding the camera. <laughs> So like I said, it's not pretty, but for a little piece of electric wire and a little piece of hanger compared to trying to find the actual parts, I think it works fine. <laughs>